Welcome to a session on Satsuranj Kekiladi or the chess players written by Munshi Premsha. So this uh, work was written, it's a short story written by Munshi Premchand, which was published in the year 1924 and later in 1977 it was remade into a movie. And the story uh, is set in the 1856 Kingdom of Awad, which is the present day Uttar Pradesh and it was it happened during the British colonial rule. And it revolves around two wealthy but idle aristocrats called um, named Mirza Zadid Ali and Mir Roshan Ali, who were so obsessed with uh, you know chess playing that they forget forgot about their responsibilities and state of kingdom. So Munshi Premchand, he was an important figure, and it is very important to discuss about four aspects when it comes to translation. He uh, uh, you know uh, was in support of the promotion of vernacular languages. Uh, he particularly promoted the upliftment of vernacular languages, particularly Hindi and Urdu. And he believed in the power of these languages to express the experience of Indians, for that matter. He was also a representative, you know, he was also quite uh, particular about the representation of common people. Uh, Premchand's writing often focused on the lives and struggles of ordinary Indians, particularly those from the rural areas. And his choice to write in Hindi and Urdu, it helped him write about these common people. Uh, there was a critique of a colonial hegemony that we see in most of his works. Through his works, Premchand critiqued various aspects of colonial rule, including the imposition of English language and culture on Indian society. So he highlighted the cultural richness and linguistic diversity of India uh, while critiquing colonial hegemony and resistance to cultural assimilation. He expressed and his writings reflect a resistance to cultural assimilation and erasure of indigenous identities. Now, uh, about Munshi Premchand, uh, his, uh, you know, the first uh, Premchand's own writing, which was written uh, uh, in Hindi, uh, Sachran. Uh, in, uh, it was published in the magazine Madhuri in September 1924. Since then, several translations and transcreations of the same ha have come. Uh, one cinematic adaptation, like I mentioned before. So the first translation was of uh, uh, Munshi Premchand himself into Urdu, which was titled as Satranj Ki Bazi, which was the game of chess. And it was published sometime before 1928 in his uh, short story collection. And several cross-cultural translations have been brought out before and since, most of the English ones bearing the title, The Chess Players, with David Rubens being one of the most important one. And the translation from the original source to the target or receptor language is a semiotic or intersemiotic exercise involving extrinsically a change of script and intrinsically a process of cultural, semantic and linguistic decoding and recording. Uh, so, translational exercises are not new, but within subcontinental India, the 19th century saw a huge surge in translational exercises, which contributed significantly towards the development and standardization of both dialectical linguistic forms and traditional literary genres. Now, the mid-19th century witnessed distinctive efforts emphasizing the separateness of modern Hindi and Urdu, uh, both have the common origin though. So Dhanpat Rai Srivastava, which is the actual name of Munshi Premchand, also known as Nawab Rai, began his writing career in Urdu, but later he started writing in Hindi for, you know, uh, getting better readership. Uh, his social, by 1900, his social and political awareness gradually matured into nationalistic consciousness. However, from 1913 to 1915, he steadily gave up Urdu in preference for Hindi because Hindi had a larger audience. Uh, so the cultural dominance and elitist nature of uh, the already standardized Urdu in multilingual Northern India could well have been the reason for Premchand's continued self-translations or transcreation. So he was also in favor of the elite status of Urdu because of which he also wrote in Urdu. So Satranj Ke Kiladi, it belongs to the serious inward looking short story, which propagates utilitarian and political ideas, ideals. There is, uh, you know, satire, there is political commentary. Um, and the story center stages Lucknow as the seat of monarchical laziness and cultural wastefulness. 
and it also uses historical past to comment about historical present. So it, this was the time when an expression of awards was happening. But, you know, the story came out in 1928. And Prem also conveys a serious political message and commentary on the same. So we can see this authorial intrusion uh, throughout in the Satranjke Kiladi, which is the Hindi version. Now coming to Satranjke Bazi, which is the Urdu version, which is written in heavily Persianized Urdu, it makes it, uh, you know, accessible to the elite um, Urdu readership. And the self-translational exercise by uh, Munshi Premchand himself, it contributes uh, contributed to the re-establishment of cultural and linguistic hegemony, which was held by Urdu of the overthrown power center of Urdu within the linguistically and culturally pluralistic India. So functionally, Premchand self-translation is a special kind of renewal which enables the text to be read with by another group of people and rewriting the story in language employed by Mir and Mirza in the predominantly elitist cultural center of Lucknow differentiates Premchand's story linguistically and aesthetically from the earlier Sanskrit works. And um, also, uh, his Persianized Urdu becomes a medium for representation of cultural patterns as Sanskritic uh, Hindi as a medium for critical realism. So he used the Hindi version for his critical commentary, while the Urdu version was used to represent the cultural patterns. So Satranj K. Bazi is a transcreational exercise uh, where he describes the protagonist and setting in greater detail uh, and a hint of lament is there in the story when the characters die and the narrator re-narrates with reduced tonal bitterness and mellowed sarcasm. So in the Hindi version there is uh, too much of sarcasm uh, while in the uh, Urdu version it is less sarcasm and less bitterness and his political message is kind of hidden in the Urdu version and its vigor and ironic intent seems diminished. So through the Urdu version, the uh, you know self-translation, it tried to bring out the multiple connotative possibilities of uh, the text itself. So uh, again, Premchand's altered uh, title, Satranj Ki Bazi, it seems inappropriate when viewed firstly in the light of the general message conveyed in the Hindi text, because the replacement of original Khiladi, which means the player to Bazi, which is the game, uh, it shifts the focus from the, uh, you know, players to the game itself. Uh, and um, secondly, uh, the the moves uh, made by the replacement of Kiladi, as I mentioned, are the moves by the players during the course of the game. And thirdly, because the word, word Kiladi, common to Urdu and Hindi, it has got the same meaning. So he could have used the same meaning is what uh, uh, you know critics say he could have used Kiladi itself but he used another word instead and the replacement of Kiladi with Bazi and the general message conveyed different message conveyed in the Urdu version so these are the few aspects of translation in Satranjke Kiladi thank you